Bite Radio Network Facebook family, stay tuned for another live show from Branson. Coming up. Welcome to Branson, Missouri. Hi, friends. I'm Byron Tyler. We have been having an incredible time here in the beautiful Ozarks and uh, feeling a little bit of that chilly fall weather right now, which is while I went out and bought me a sweater yesterday, did some shopping, and we're welcoming our Bot Radio Network Facebook family to our show. For the past three days, we've been doing live shows here at our Bot Station in Branson with Lynn Berry, who is with the Branson Chamber of Commerce. Lynn, it's always great to see you. Thanks, Byron. We're once again going to gather and talk about all the fun things that we have to do in Branson. Yeah, and we've had so much has happened this week already. That's right. I mean, we had the Linen Sisters. That's right. We had Yakov. I mean, we had uh, I mean, we had Brandon and Megan May from the Bald Knobbers. The original show that started it all. I know. I mean, this has been such a great week, and we always have a super time when we come. And we have a great lineup on we our do. final show here today, and we're going to get into that in a moment. But uh, another reason why we're here a little bit early is to get our listeners a chance to check out hotel reservations, accommodations, so they can be up here for the opening weekend that Christmas kicks off November 1st. That's right. In Branson, we start Christmas early because there's so much to love and enjoy about the beautiful season in which we are so thankful. We have the most wonderful time of year parade on November the 3rd. And that parade is in its sixth year. And it was named in honor of the late Andy Williams. Yes. When we lost Andy in 2012, we thought, what are we going to do without Mr. Christmas? He's the one that puts on the sweaters and puts on the great show. <laughs> well, we've tried to make it all that he would want it to be to enjoy the holiday season. And, and that day at 10 a.m., November 3rd, a Saturday at Branson Landing, a big parade followed by performances on stage in front of the fountains. It is an incredible show. So I would invite our Bot Radio Network listeners in Memphis and the Mid-South, wherever you might be hearing this program, live on YouTube, Facebook, or social media, be sure and make plans to come at least, you know, sometime during the holiday season and enjoy right. family fun here in Branson. Now, uh, as we talk about shows, uh -huh. there's one show that we had scheduled to be on today that That's could true. not, but you're going to pitch it for them and That's let folks right. know about this amazing oh. vocalist of Daniel O'Donnell. You know, this is the only North American appearance of Daniel O'Donnell this year. And he comes to us, of course, from Ireland, and his fans are numerous and many. So should we say he's an Irish tenor, right? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. And, you know, when Daniel comes, uh, he's going to enjoy an 18-person choir backing him up. He's got his elves, he's got his dancers, and he has his very wonderful partner after all these years, Mary Duff. Wow. Wow. And so now is really the time to get tickets, and how can That's folks right. do that? It's Welk Resort Theater is where this okay. will be. Or you can go to explorebranson.com. And, of course, we have all the lineup of all the Christmas shows. But Daniel O'Donnell is a very special Christmas show in Branson. Yeah, I tell you what, there is something about having special Christmas music, you know, yes. and, and, and enjoying that is such a special time. Well, we want to move into uh, the rest of our show today as we welcome some new guests. They are making yes. their way into the studio and are going to slide right, right over up. these microphones here. here. <laughs> Get real close, guys, if you can. And uh, we have coming to us from the Grand Village Resort, uh, the Grand Country Grand Resort. Country. I, don't, I, I don't know why I said village. We, because, because that's a shopping destination. Well, it, it, it is. <laughs> I mean, it is a, it, it's a destination of everything, not just shopping, but, I mean, hanging out. That's uh, right. Having fun with families, uh, everything, the Grand, Grand Country. Country Resort, uh, w right on 76. I mean, you guys, I mean, you can just park your car, you know, t lock your doors, go inside and stay for, what, a week or two? You can. You can and not have to leave the do. property. Up to two weeks, I think. And yeah. you know what else we've got there, of course, is the Grand Country Music Hall, and that's where you can see these fine folks. Yeah, and I'll tell you, one of the one of the great country shows, whether it be country music or the comedy too, and uh, it's it's all right there. But uh, we you know we can talk about the food, we can talk about uh, you know the uh, again the accommodations, that's right. the the water park. These guys added a second <laughs> water slide, a new water slide, I believe. Is that right? It's getting pretty fancy with the water park. It yeah. is. 
and and there's uh, electric go karts. Oh electric go karts. Electric. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. Now tell me about this new uh, indoor. It's like 500 and something feet go indoor go kart uh, track, That's I right. believe. Yeah, I've been on it several times with my daughter. <laughs> Good reason. Well, and yeah. we've got we've got Luke Menard and uh, Mark McCauley that are here. Yes. Uh, Luke, Mark, thank you for stopping by you and, and telling us. us about what all the fun stuff. Uh, let's talk about the shows, though. Let's talk about the music because that's one of the things you guys do best. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about your show. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Well, Mark and I are part of the quartet. We're part of New South Quartet. I sing tenor. Mark is the bass. Uh, we have David on lead, who is not here, and then Johnny is our baritone. And this particular group has been together for four years, mm -hmm. and we sing six nights a week. We sing country. We sing rock. We sing gospel. Um, and then we do a big variety, um, kind of a variety type show in the second half. And it's it's it works. It just works really well, and, and it's a lot of fun. So, Mark, tell me, how low can you go? I go as low as that into that song <laughs> uh, without luke and i it's, it's just a, du a duo yeah of course but with us we're the high and the low yeah <laughs> we're the bookends right here yeah we're right the there oh and, my goodness and honestly we have a lot of fun behind stage i've never laughed so much as i laugh with these guys <laughs> it's kind of like third graders getting together you know third yeah. grade humor and uh, we thoroughly enjoy that, that's something that I, I kind of sense from the other entertainers there's such a family uh Mm -hmm. you know, togetherness mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. with the, the show right. folks and you guys work together. Of course, you don't have to like each other, but it seems like you do have fun together. You know, <laughs> and, and, and that, that really, really makes the show too. Yeah. The, yeah. the way we get along. And, and that's probably a comment we get a lot is the chemistry that people see that we have on stage. Yeah. together. It's real. It is it, absolutely it, real. You, in can't Branson. you can't fake it. You can't, you really can't fake that. It's hard mm -hmm. to fool people anymore. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> they can tell authenticity. Can tell. And Mark, how long have you been performing here in Branson? 35 years. Has it been 35 years now? And where, where was the first show you started? First show was a pig roast oh. at Janet Daly's house. <laughs> and uh, That's from there, we, went into, we started Country Music World. That's great. And I can't even go into all that stuff since then because it's 35 years worth. I don't know how much time we got. Isn't, isn't that amazing? <laughs> <Wow>. Half hour show. <laughs> and and I, was talking, I was talking to you, Luke, prior to the show, and you were telling me that you know, you've been doing some music for some time, too, here in Branson. Yeah, yeah I've been in, in Branson for seven years. I, I moved here from Los Angeles and started in a show called Pierce Arrow. And then four years ago, I, I came over and joined, joined these guys. I jumped. I moved up on the strip. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad, too. And, and, and really, uh, as I mentioned, you got a special Christmas show, too. And I know, I know it's just October. People are, haven't even thought about Thanksgiving yet. And we're or promoting Halloween. or Halloween, right. but we're promoting Christmas because again, in Branson, Christmas starts early with all the shows. November 1st is the parade kicks off. November 3rd, we talked about That's right. that weekend is when, you know, a lot of Christmas shows kick off. So tell me about the uh, Grand Country uh, Christmas show. Yeah, we start right after Halloween. We start the first week in November. I think it's even the, maybe November 1st. Is that sound right? So, yes. mm -hmm. And so the way we do our Christmas shows, the first half of our show is all Christmas. The second half is our normal show. Yeah, so okay. you can still kind of get a taste of both. So we're not doing 100% Christmas. Yeah. Uh, what is it about? You guys have been at Branson a long time, you know, and for somebody listening right now who hasn't, you know, you know, got in the car and come up here yet, made plans to come. I mean, what are some reasons? What are some things that you like best about Branson? I would say the you know certainly it's family friendly. Uh, there's just things on every corner to do for the kids. It's uh, uh, our motto is uh, it's all right here, but really it's uh, yeah. everything you want to do is in Branson. Yeah, you yeah. know from outdoor water parks to music to kids things. We've got some incredible kids uh, attractions now with the you know where you can fly down there on the thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is adventure. Yeah, there's all yeah. kinds of stuff to do. Yeah. Of course we yeah. have you know the pizza. We've got game rooms. Uh, Miniature golf. Yeah, you Absolutely. can make a whole vacation in our spot. Wow. And how about for you, Luke? I'm gonna get you moved right. You guys move real close to those mics. I'm getting a word back from our producer. Oh, yeah. getting, he wants a little closer there. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, this this something we you know we do at our show and most shows do is we honor our veterans yes. and and that's something that that our veterans are very proud of and we're we're very thankful that they come here and, and visit this yes. town. It's very rare in this country to have a, a place where we honor them you know, as much as we do. That's here. a good word, Luke. Very I mean, you're talking about veterans, talking about, you know, America, that's you know, right. I'm thanking God for America. You guys aren't afraid to say Merry Christmas here, you know, all about it. and it really is here. And so that's it makes right. it special. Okay. So again, uh, the show after Halloween will kick off for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's the website so you can go to and get more information? Grandcountry.com. 
I believe is it Grand Pretty Country. Pretty true. Com? That is yes, exactly yes, right. true. That's what I've got here, <laughs> grandcountry.com. Shoot, I was sweating right before I said that. And there's a, <laughs> and what's really cool, even as the weather is getting colder and, mm-hmm. and downright, you can even have snow on the ground and still get in the water slide, the water park, because right. it's all mm-hmm. indoors and the free water park access to the guests at the uh, Grand Country Resort. You've got great restaurants there. There's indoor go-karts, mini golf, arcade. The shows we talked about, and there's great shopping there too. Really, that's right. I didn't realize how nice the gift shop and the shopping was right inside there, but it is it's phenomenal. It is, and great food too. Yeah, Thanksgiving also, dinner, everything. Oh, also, yeah. three o'clock on Thursdays, all gospel. Okay, three o'clock on Thursdays, all gospel. Yeah. And also want to remind our parents listening that the rooms are very comfortable and spacious. The kids will love this new clubhouse rooms. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like you have your own private clubhouse that the kids can enjoy you know and it's all you know under supervision of your parents they're complete with bunk beds and uh anyway you guys have got it all right there it is definitely a resort right here in the heart of branson on highway 76 the grand country resort luke mark thank you so much for thanks for having us bringing uh fun for families entertaining thanks for stopping by today Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Thank well, we thank you. Wow, Miss Lynn. And I know I'm sure you have oh. hovered around the buffet over there. Uh, it is one of my favorite breakfast, lunch, and oh, dinner stops. Oh, my goodness. I'm going there tonight. Again, <laughs> Luke's going there tonight. But it is, it, is, it is simply delicious. It is everything that the family needs over there at the Grand Country. And uh, those guys, they perform as New South, and they are incredible harmony. Well, to, right now, Lynn, we're going to welcome our next guest. We have the Reverend Mervyn Oglethorpe. Uh, Reverend Oglethorpe is with the Sanders Family Christmas at the Branson Yay. IMAX. And uh, this is one of my favorite shows. My wife, Pam, actually is behind the camera over here, and <laughs> she loves this show, too. And I just want to give a shout out to her helping me out on this program. And uh, But Reverend Oglethorpe is here. And Reverend Oglethorpe, I understand you also work t- part-time uh, at the pickle plant. Yes, yes. But before I start, I wanted to say I'm so sorry that I wasn't here earlier. I know I said I'd be. My car broke down. Uh oh. And I uh, just overheated, and then I got back in it and it broke down again, and broke down like five more times before I got here. Oh. So, uh, you know, you don't give up on quality like that. Jesus didn't give up on me. <laughs> you know, I broke down more than once. Well, <laughs> well, hey, Reverend, I'm, I'm thinking here with a car like that, it has to be somewhere back in the 1930s, probably. Well, it's your, a little bit older than that. A little that. bit older than yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you know, only 1940. Too, it uh, it is a little older. It just it just needs some love. That's yeah, all it needs. There you Don't go. We all need a little bit of love. That's, <laughs> that's, that's we, what we need. We do need that. But yeah, we've been at the pickle plant, and it is just going gangbusters down there. You sure. know, uh, now that uh, we're all getting into that war and all, they're asking for those little gherkins all over. Oh. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? And we pickled everything within like 40 miles. I I don't even know. How are we going to get another pickle out of that place? We're doing, <laughs> we're doing three shifts already. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. Round the clock pickles. That's what we're so, doing. I mean, preaching and, and pickling, too. Huh? I know. I know. Well, and, and I'm not allowed in certain areas of the pickle plant. Um, I have a tendency to um, have accidents around me. And I'm, I may not always be involved in them. Like, uh, I know we rub the stickers off of those pickles with a brush. I broke 14 of those brushes. <laughs> Um, I, I fell into three pickle bats Uh-oh. and, uh, the, let me tell you, whenever they're in the brine, it's not as tasty as when they come out in little, little jaws. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm primarily in a uh, financial where I do all the paperwork and it makes everybody feel safer that I'm there. <laughs> well, we're safe that you're here today. And really, uh, we want to talk about the, the Sanders family Christmas. Oh yes. And Bringing the Sanders back for Christmas. It'll be their fourth time at our church at little Mount Pleasant Baptist church. Yes. We're excited. So, you know, you know, I was the one that brought them back into <gasps> singing. I did. I did. Uh, just a few years ago, they weren't doing it. And then I, my car broke down. I pulled off into their uh, their little filling station. And there they were, picking away, oh. picking away. And I said, why don't you come and do that? And I did it for a Saturday night sing. And I know, I know, don't, don't gasp at me. I mean, I, I brought church uh, people to one of my sings. And, and it just went so well that they got to come back. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And we get people all over. We get a lot of church groups that come in there. Uh, we get, uh, let's see, we had uh, Salt Flat Primitive, a uh, little hunky River Church of God come in there. And, of course, uh, one of my, uh, dear to my heart anyway, Five Baptized Holiness. Because, you know, when Mama got sick and I was, of course, had to be gone and sure. she was called home, uh, they sent us over uh, Brother Wayman Lunsford to 
to, in my stead where I couldn't preach. And, well, of course, our, our uh, congregation just were thrilled with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The collection plate was brimming and attendance was up. So, well, of course, we'll have him back soon, I'm sure. Well, Reverend Oglethorpe, your yes. uh, congregation is uh, is right in the heart of, of the audience. I mean, we oh, get to actually, so the listeners actually that are here in our program right now, you actually will go into the Little Opry Theater, yes. which is inside the Branson IMAX, and you will be surrounded right there. I mean, you'll be part of the show. You, I mean, we're going to talk to you. Yes, you will. I definitely will talk to you. <laughs> I will interact with you, That's you know, and uh, we, we do a prayer chain, so we'll make sure that if you have something, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I recognize you. Like, we just had uh, uh, Wilbur Passmore. He was swollen up twice his size, and we don't know what was wrong with him. He oh, my puffed goodness. puffed up like a tick is what he was. Is he okay? Oh, oh he's fine. He's fine. And then uh, there's also another uh, gentleman, Mr. Stevens, who was there, and uh, he has some locked bowels. So if you see him there... Please let him have an aisle seat so that if he needs to go and the prayers start working, he can make his way. Oh, Amen. my goodness. We yeah. want to know that. Well, listen, uh, Reverend Oglethorpe, thank you so much. Again, don't miss out, friends, on the Sander Family Christmas, Sanders Family Christmas. And it's starting on November 1st with shows nightly, Tuesday through Saturday, 8 p.m. And they continue all the way through December 30th. Now, there are no shows December 12th, 13th, 14th. 19th, 20th, and 21st, but you can go to the website, BransonIMAX.com, right. and get all the details about this wonderfully wacky Sanders family as they have gathered to say farewell to their only son back in 1941 as he heads off to the big war. Reverend Oglethorpe, thank you for stopping by. Oh, we thank you, and you know what? You're welcome back at Mount Pleasant anytime you can find the time to be there. We will be there. We will definitely come. We'll thank you so much. We'll be praying for you. BransonIMAX.com is the address that you want to go to. And Miss Lynn, uh, I know you've seen that show. We've seen this oh, show multiple times. Absolutely wonderful. And if you want some good laughs, I mean, it's right there waiting for you. And, and uh, some real sweetness on yes, that stage. Yes, I know. I know. Very sweet. Well, two, two longtime friends, uh, Bot Radio Network, are here in the studio right now. We've got from the Shoji Tabuchi Christmas Show, that's uh, now at the Clay Cooper Theater. We've got Shoji Tabuchi and Christina, his daughter. Welcome. Get you guys real close to those microphones. Christina, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? It's always good to see you. It's always great to hey, see you. Hey, how old is that baby girl now? Oh, my gosh. She just turned four. Oh, four years She's old. She's in preschool. It's hard to believe that. <laughs> oh, my <Baby>. goodness. <laughs> She's adorable. She's and, absolutely thank adorable. You. And how is Grandpa Shoji doing? Grandpa. Grandpa is just proud. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, yeah, well, it's, you have a right to be. I, you know, I'm a grandpa too now. I've got a five-year-old little girl oh and an eight-month-old little girl. Oh, how fun! So yeah, being a grandpa is the calling of life, Shoji. Yes. I can uh, tell you that. They're buddies now. When she, when she say go. go. <laughs> yeah. You know, Miss Lynn. <laughs> back a couple of months ago, I was at like a little rummage sale. And people were selling different things. And I saw this plate I picked up. And you know who the image on that plate? It was an old plate. But do you know who the image on that plate was? Roy Acuff yes. oh, was on there. Goodness. You've got one of those. You've got one of those. And oh, I saw that. The, plate. the first person I thought of was this man right yes. here, Shoji yes, Tabuchi, sure. because it was back, well, I don't know how many years ago, that Mr. Acuff went to Japan. Did a yes. concert, and you saw that concert, and were inspired. Right. Oh, sweet. And uh, that's how you picked up the violin. I sure did. I guess they call it a fiddle Continue. for that kind of music, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Eckhoff, and can you believe I have his violin? You have two. Oh, two you have two of his violins. Two, two of his Do you really? The I mean, one of them, uh, Grand Oropi, mm -hmm. 50th oh, really cool. oh, anniversary of Grand Oropi. Oh, my uh, goodness. The violin. I did. They, they Presented to Mr. Eckhoff, mm -hmm. and I got that. Oh, that I, really? Is so sweet. Oh my! Did you ever have the opportunity to perform with him at all? Uh, yes, in the op Opry. You yes. at the Opry? Yeah. You did. When I when I first Mr. Eckhoff, uh, since I came here mm -hmm. because of him, him, and he invited me to Grand Opry, oh. and he said, uh, at that time, Bad Window was uh, my, uh, Grand Opry manager. Uh, Mr. Eckhoff said, put this boy on, on, the, <laughs> oh. on the show. And 
I was on. Oh my goodness, <laughs> how about that? A long time ago, a string bean. <laughs> <laughs> string bean. You were. Wow. I, I got on. How sweet. Wow. Jiman Jeshi was on that. And of course, so cool. uh, this is a definitely uh, a family show too. Your wife, Dorothy, yes. uh, mm -hmm. your mom, you guys work oh, yeah. so close together to definitely. put this show on. I think she choreographs all of the dance. I mean, you're part of that too now, but she, is she still doing that? Chore she is um, the executive producer of the show. Okay. So she's the boss applesauce. Like yeah. she's the, yeah. she's the final go-to on what all goes. As far as like producing the show, I'm doing that now. Are you doing that now? Getting okay. that all taught yeah. and we're all of getting all that core and then she signs off on it at the end mm -hmm. and there we go I know that you guys uh, it's been what has it been two three years now went through a tragedy at the theater a fire yes. you 2017, know 2017 May 31st 2017 oh my goodness I'll never forget that date ever no. ever so and you got a call and what, what where were you what were you doing when you received the call I had just woken up it was or it was like 5 a.m. in the morning when I was I had woken up and I saw dad walk by and I was like my phone had a I can't even count mm -hmm. how many text messages and I was like was there a fire at the theater last night and he's like yeah we're getting ready to go up there now and I was like oh I bet it's I bet it's fine it's not I bet it, I bet it's you know it'll be all right yeah. and he's like mm, I don't know and we went up there that day and walked in I mean it, mm -hmm. it it was, was a mess. Drenched. Oh my wow. goodness! It was it was a Duh. mess. <laughs> I mean, it, it, and Miss Lynn, if our listeners have not gone inside the Shoji Tabuchi Theater, exquisite. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's probably one of the best theaters in the country, not just Branson. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the the exquisite, the the design. Yes. yes. It's classic. I mean, it's it just it, you know, it's just beautifully. And, uh, so you guys have had to make an adjustment. Oh, yes. You haven't stopped performing though. Not at oh, all. Yeah. We didn't skip a beat. I mean, yeah. the theater has been closed, but I want to assure everyone because the one question we get asked, well, were the bathrooms damaged? And I can assure you the bathrooms were not damaged. It was backstage, but, um, and why, why would people ask about the bathrooms? Oh my goodness. Because Miss Mona Stafford That's and right. my mama spent so much time putting those bathrooms together. Together. I mean, the That's chandeliers right. came from the Italy, the, the glass, and I mean, just they went all out. They went all out on those bathrooms. Well, I, I said, the billiard table, the billiard said, table what is you fine. Guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> <There's a bathroom. laughs> but, yeah, when you walk in, you don't want to leave, Miss Lynn, do you? They are <laughs> all known across these United States. Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> Well, and of course, you are right now putting on your show at the Clay Cooper Theater. I was at Clay's show the other night, and he promoted you guys and said, Yay. don't forget about, you know, Shoji Tabuchi is here. So uh, tell me about the show. Is there is there big changes? Are you guys adding new things? Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. We're definitely we're definitely putting together. Dad's arranged quite a few new songs that we're putting in. There's some new characters that may pop up. Good. Um, definitely the... We're very... Very, very excited. Yeah. We are. Good. It was very, um, there were several people that had reached out when we had the fire, and we were very grateful that and thankful for Tina and Clay for inviting mm -hmm. us to do the show there yes. and, and the yes. schedule and everything lined up. So we are super excited um, we have for that to be our homing. temporary home. I mean, you guys have been performing Shoji 30, has it been 30 years mm -hmm. or longer? Yes, this is our 30th year. 30th Yay. year. Congratulations. Yeah. In, Branson. in Branson. Okay, is there any idea when your theater might be ready to open again? We are working nonstop. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it's crazy because people think because it's not open, but it's, it is a daily nonstop thing sure. that we are doing. So yeah. we are just working as fast mm -hmm. as we can and with insurance to get everything. Sure. Just right. Yes, ma'am. And they've and been restored. traveling. Wow. They've been traveling and going yes. all around the, the states that surround Just the state of Missouri. We have been. Well, I was going to say, you got, love them. I know you've got <laughs> some road shows coming up in December, December 9th at the uh, Strand Theater in Jennings. Uh, is that uh, Louisiana? It is. Yeah. Yay. And then you'll be in Greenville, Texas <laughs> on December 10th. And wow. I think there's some oh. plans for Russellville, Arkansas on December 16th, I believe. Is that true? We're still we're, we're working, working, on, on, it. working, on, working it. on that one. Okay. But you can go to the website, yes. shoji.com, yes. and get all the details. 
Uh, well, let's talk about the Christmas show yes. because I have seen it. It is one of my favorite shows to see at Christmas Mine time. Too. Yeah. <laughs> are the dove okay? Yeah, should I say? Can I say that? Yes. Yes. The dove. The dove. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are they okay? Are the dove okay? okay. From okay, great. So tell me about tell me about the Christmas show. Christmas show. It it is all about family. Yes. So it, it lots is, magical, fun, very magical. Yeah, There's fun. lots of characters, lots of um, it's a fun number time. for the kids. New, there's some new uh, arrangements that Dad has done. Um, there's some new songs that I'm doing, mm -hmm. um, and then the classic stuff that that we're known for. Our mm -hmm. lighted capes yeah. will be mm -hmm. there, yeah. and you know. So Did I ever ask you, Christina? I don't know. Growing up mm -hmm. as a little girl mm -hmm. in in the home with such a classical, you know, musical genius as your dad. Mm -hmm with the violin and just his music ability, your mom too. Did did you ever think you wanted to do anything different than be an entertainer? Maybe for like a second. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, for maybe five seconds, I thought I wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer at one point. And then I was like, no, mm -mm, not for me. I really, I wanted to do, I've always, and people will ask me, you know, did your parents ever like, make you do the shows or absolutely not. They were the ones trying to tell me to go home and get rest. And I'd cry and be like, no, I want to do shows. Wow. What a great, this, this is great. Well, I'll tell you what, friends, listen, you've got to go to Shoji, S-H-O-J-I.com website, get your ticket information, get all the details. You'll even see videos, pictures. You don't want to miss out Shoji Tabuchi, especially the Christmas, Christmas show at the Clay Cooper Theater. And that's getting ready to kick off here in Branson. So make plans to come with your family. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by today. Thank you for having us. Well, Miss Lynn, we have had three action-packed days here live from Branson. Always action-packed in Branson, <laughs> Byron. And we invite all of your listeners to come see us. Yes. Plan their trip on explorebranson.com. Yes, you can explore uh, all the details of your uh, hotel accommodations, places to eat, shows like uh, Shoji Tabuchi shows. and Christina. You can see the show. So we invite you to do that. But we have had a great week here at Branson, these three shows live. Special thanks to the staff, Mana Stafford and her uh, uh, staff, Patty Slicer, for all the behind-the-scenes work that goes on. My wife, Pam, who's been such a great help. But go to explorebranson.com. Get all the details. I'm Byron Tyler. So long. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Thank it's you. good to see you. This beauty had better be on stage <laughs> every time.